Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download transitions and then use them for your edits. So, I've been asked by multiple people on how I download them, where I get them from, how do I use them, because um, it is quite confusing on doing it, but once you get it, it's simple, easy to put in. So, what you're going to want to do is go to, in the description, you'll see links to all the transitions that I use. Click on one of those, and then you should be taken to one of the um, transitions and then from there you should be able to download one of them uh, so click on the first one one of the one I'm gonna click on right now is called white transition and uh, this one you just you're on you should be here and then you press download and then you just wait and it should be downloading it's really small so it shouldn't take up that much space and then uh, what you're gonna want to do is just quickly just uh, drag that to your desktop I make my own um, file and I've got all my transitions in there. So what you're going to want to do is just go into, uh, just quickly go into DaVinci Resolve. I just grabbed a random clip. I'm not going to like do proper editing on it. I'm just going to show you guys um, what you gonna guys want to do. And then your transition should be right here. So then what you're going to want to do is uh, drag, your clip, uh, drag your clip down. And um, so when you do your uh, clip say oh you want it to the transition to be from here cut that and then you go 10 frames back so with the arrows go back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then cut that with control b zoom in a little bit and go here again to the middle bit one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then press control b then what you're going to do is highlight both of them uh, right click and this should be where is it, where is it, where is it? new fusion clip go into there and then make sure that this red line is on here and then you click this little one down here you go into that let it load and then you shoot at this tab you move this out the way and then you grab your transition that is right here move that in then that's that's the transition so then what you're going to want to do click it connect them together and then you've got to let it render so keep playing it through so as you can see the this transition is now done this one's quite quick and it looks really clean when you've edited it properly with the other clips uh, so when you hit a B use this transition it looks really good and also there is another um, transition I use it is called a glitch effect so then what you're gonna want to do just quickly go onto the um, site again easy just download it downloads really quick because it's quite small and then what you're going to want to do is just back out there put that there and then go on to DaVinci Resolve and then make that cut again but then click on the one wait no got to go back do 10 this time 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 just the same as last time do 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this one's different to the other one do the exact same thing because on here when you grab your uh, glitch you have to you gotta make sure that you connect it to the green arrow not straight to the yellow so like you drag it to the top up here first and then you pull it there and then this is where you'll get your glitch effects but of course it would be a different clip here so like if even if you just want like a glitch effect so like say if you're doing like a vlog or something like that uh and you're like doing a haunted video or something like that i don't know uh while you're walking around something it just the camera just glitches that's a quite good glitch effect but i usually use it to go to a next clip you know what I mean so that's pretty much it for today's video so how I how I find these transitions I just go on uh, YouTube search up uh, DaVinci Resolve transition plugins and then all you got to do is go go there and just download them but of course I'm gonna um, put a link to some of them in the description so you can go from there and download them and just copy what I just did some of them are a bit different on how we connect them but it's pretty much the same thing with the white transition you just put it in the middle and then just connect it to the front bit and then this to the back so that's going to be it for today's video 
hope you guys enjoyed i'll be doing another video on davinci resolve on how our, how to do velocity syncing which is pretty much this And yeah, that's it for today's video. Stay tuned for the next one and peace.